Welcome to the craze in 10 or less. This is the show where I give it to you with 10 minutes or under. And if I don't, I don't have an answer for you. Anyway, where should you invest your money? Should you put it into comics and figurines or just comics? That is the topic of the day. This is the crazy in 10 or less. Stop acting up. Let's talk crazy. Crazy. Okay, so most independents or a good percentage of independents want to make a smash entry. Right? Everybody thinks that they have the product, the next best thing. They, ha- they, everyone believes they have the next Spawn, the next Garfield, the next Peanuts, you know, the next X Force. But do you really? And everybody wants to break into the comic scene showing the versatility of their product. (laughs) So what you see is, and what I've seen, and I've been the victim to this too, and I know quite a few people have done this as well. We go out, we want, we create our book, one issue, the first issue, and then we want t-shirts and we want to get a, a prototype action figures or, you know, resins or a couple of them um, and buttons and all these other things and we blow our investment and we find that because of it, we're not meeting deadlines or we can't fund the next book. Is that the smart way to go? Do you know how much it costs to produce these figures? So... In the thousands. In the thousands. So I'll give you an example. On happyworker.com, right? They're giving you costs. At minimum, if you're trying to produce action figures, they're going to want you to do a minimum of at least 5,000. And I know some cats that are still trying to get rid of the thousands of units of their figures that they've produced and ranging from eight to twelve dollars per figure at five thousand units you do the math it's pretty expensive right if you want a prototype you're paying anywhere depending on who you find for a prototype anywhere between 500 minimum that's the cheapest to close to $1,500 for that prototype because they have to create the mold and all this other stuff and paint it and whatever it is. So think about it. <clears throat> the average cost of producing a comic book in black and white grayscale, 100 units, you're paying the same amount you're paying for that prototype. You might even be paying less. But everybody wants to make a smash entrance. Is that the right thing to do? Right? So, here we have, it says, um, this is just one of the, the companies. It says, how many toys, quantities, are ideal, and size orders? We could produce 5,000 or more action figures. Uh, let's see. It takes 26 to 32 weeks to design, prototype, manufacture, and deliver an order of action figures. Some figures that have complex designs or that mix different materials or production techniques can take a bit longer. Rush schedules are possible, but toys can uh, only be made so quickly. The key word there is rush. How many independents either procrastinate, think they'll be able to get things done on time, so they put off and they hang out and they party or whatever it is, and then... Oh, snaps, last minute, I need a rush on this because I just booked the convention and I need to make an appearance there and I need my books or, you know. So, don't rush. The key is don't rush because it's not only going to hurt you and your credibility, but it's also going to hurt your pockets because you're adding those additional expenses to those rush orders. It ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. So... What's the benefit of having a prototype action figure if no one knows who you are, you haven't secured distribution, you only have a first issue, maybe you have a couple in the pipeline, 
but you haven't reached a large enough market to be able to create a demand. So what is the benefit of having this prototype either other than a stroke to the ego? Bragging rights. Self-reward. My advice. I'm an example. Um, I did not go the route of the thousands of units. I found a mask maker. And he was able to produce these prototype figures for me. Uh, for duty from there's nailing on my toilet. Uh, he created the bust, the head, mask, bust, and about 10 figures for me. Now, it did, I didn't break the bank. I believe that in total for the 10 and the bust, probably under $1,000, maybe less. Uh, so I was able, and this was a independent that I found... I don't know if it was through deviant art or whatever it was, but I was able to work out a deal with this guy. And he did a great job, but um, I, they're still sitting here. I sold maybe two at Comic Cons, uh, but I still have eight, right? Um, never really pushed it. I really wanted it just for display purposes and to show potential for licensing. Um, but I could have used that money on the comics. At that time, it was about stroking my ego. It was about me trying to show how diverse this character was and try to reach a lot of different people. I just didn't have the means or the marketing power to do so. So in hindsight, was it the right thing to do? No, I could have used the, the money um, for other things. For towards the comic books, I know some other guys um, that went the bulk route, uh, the thousands of unit route, and this was ten years ago, and they're still trying to sell it. So it's, I would say, wait, build a fan base, create a demand. Create a loyal following. Have some consistency with your books. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I know there's crowdfunding, but what's the benefit of having a single issue and a prototype if, you, if you're not mass marketing it and producing it and you don't have retailers in the pipeline that are going to sell your stuff if you're not going to stay in the black and, it's, and you're going to end up in the red? So... Take it from someone who's been there, done that. You might have the capital. Maybe you have. You can be the exception and you have that demand and you have you have a series and you have a monthly. You've been consistent and you have a loyal following over a thousand who are saying, hey, when are you going to have figures? So if you know, then you have a percentage of that group that's going to want to buy it. Um, your character has mass market appeal. Then I'd say go for it. If not, wait it out. Wait it out and wait for the big boys to come to you and say we're interested in your your, your property and uh, we want to take it to the next step and let's start talking. Let them spend the money. Keep your nickels in your pocket. Invest in your characters and your stories and your comic books. Pay your artists, pay your writers, your colorists. Keep it moving. This is the crazy 10 or less. I'm Santa Crazy Man Vera. I want to thank the 109 subscribers on our YouTube channel. It doesn't sound much to you, but it's exciting to me. In the past two weeks, we've added another 10 to our channel. So I truly, truly appreciate you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. If you're listening on iCloud right now, please go to our YouTube channel at Catch the Craze. So it's Catch with a D-A. Catch the Craze. Uh, subscribe. Hit the bell. Don't ever miss another episode. Check out Catch the Craze podcast where we interview some crazy and amazing independent creators. I'm out. Talk to you soon. Peace.